Well, I'm not the liar here, yeah. but anyway, oh, yeah. so... Uh... The two candidates in the runoff election for New Orleans mayor faced off in a heated debate this evening at Xavier University. The debate was hosted by WWL-TV and the AARP. This was the first time the two have met since news broke that LaToya Cantrell was using her city-issued credit card for personal purchases. On a night the two candidates discussed a lot of issues, the use of credit cards brought the most heat. Carice Jackman was at the debate. She joins us live now. Carice. Good evening, Ton and Allie. Yes, the gloves were certainly off tonight with LaToya Cantrell and Desiree Charbonnet. They both were strong when they talked about their vision for the city and moving it forward, but they also did not hold back when it came to defending themselves against attacks and allegations. All day, all day for you to really all. know the that is amount not of true at all. Well, the old candidates, Desiree Charbonnet and Latoya Cantrell, spoke candidly tonight as the runoff election approaches. Fourteen hundred days later, some are paid back. Fourteen hundred. Mrs. Cantrell, please, please. The debate started with a conversation about the investigation into Latoya Cantrell's use of city credit cards, an allegation Cantrell says was misrepresented and released by Charbonnet's campaign. In no way did I use my credit card for personal expenses. However, I did reimburse uh, the city of New Orleans. Charbonnet was also questioned about her connections with District Attorney Leon Canizero, former WWL-TV anchor and moderator Dennis Waltering, asking Charbonnet if she made budget promises to the DA. I've never admitted or told the DA that I would give him the budget back. I told him I would reconsider his budget and give him a budget that is appropriate for his office. The two candidates were also asked questions about reducing crime, affordable housing, and how they would manage the sewage and water board. The candidates then questioned each other. How could a, um, a former judge manipulate public documents, submit it as if it's fact? I mean, how could you do that? I mean, and lie about it. Oh, I'm not the liar here. The exchanges got heated. One of the receipts that you wrote on there, campaign t-shirts, mm -hmm. were actually to promote Don't traffic. accuse me of writing yeah, that. I did not write it on your documents. Your I did not touch now. your documents. Your I did not give them to the media, uh, yes, the media outlets at all. Those who attended the debate weren't swayed by the political drama. I think the in interpersonal dynamics between the two, kind of catty. Now, the candidates also talk about job opportunities and bringing jobs to the city to retain college graduates to let them stay in the city of New Orleans instead of going to other places. And they also talked about revitalizing the city, especially New Orleans East. Reporting live in the French Quarter, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News.